power of God's word is essential for people getting saved. Of course, for our salvation, for receiving eternal life. Hearing and believing these words has enough power to save a soul from hell. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. This is our weapon. We were, we were in Ephesians 6 earlier. This is the weapon that we need to be equipped with. When, we, when you go through the list of the armor of God, Ephesians 6, 6, 17 says, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So you could read through Ephesians 6 later. You could get all the pieces, your, your helmet and your shield and the breastplate. And you could get all the different... Uh, Pieces that you need as defensive uh, pieces against attacks and to be able to withstand and to be able to um, just stand forward and get through the attacks. But then the one thing that it mentions that would be a weapon is the sword, which is the Word of God. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be left standing with no weapon in my hand. If we're engaged in a spiritual battle, if we're going to be in a spiritual fight, yeah, I want to have all the armor. I want to be protected. Absolutely. But the best way and the first line of defense is going to be that sword to to use as a defensive weapon, but then also be able to use it as an offensive weapon. And that's the Word of God. And we need to be fighting For the ability to preach the word of God unadulterated. We need to be fighting against the people who want to silence God's word. Who want to just shut us up and intimidate you and put you in fear and scare you into thinking that I can't say certain things that are written in the Bible. And the attacks are going to come. And this is something that I'm passionate about. Why? Because I've been experiencing the effects of this very recently when it comes to my own livelihood. Now when it comes to who would have thought in God's country, right? The United States of America. We're a Christian nation. That a man that preaches God's word in its entirety is now all of a sudden facing losing jobs. Lost one job, almost lost a second job. All as a result of what? The words that I speak. It's my words. Is it because I'm some bad employee? Nope. Is it because I'm treating people poorly? Nope. No, it's because of my words. And it's, you know what? It's not because of my words. It's not. It's because I'm repeating words that are found in this book. And I'm just saying it real loud. I'm just, I'm just turning up the volume on what's already written here. It's all I'm doing. I can't take credit for what this book says. Absolutely not. I will not. But this is what we're we're coming to in this country. And the goal is to get people like me to shut up. Mm -hmm. Scare people into thinking, we'll take your job. We'll take your money away. You know what? I'm not backing down. Right. Right. I'm not going to back down. You know what? You know what it's only going to do? It's going to make me push even harder. Yep. That's right. You want to try to take away my speech? You want to tell me I can't preach God's word? Well, guess what? Right. I'm going to preach it even louder. Right. And I'm going to try to find a bigger venue. And I'm going to try to reach more people. And you want to shut down my YouTube channel? I'm going to find another mechanism. I'm going to find some way. You know what? You can't take my vocal cords away unless you cut my head off. Amen. Amen. And you know what? That might happen someday. And the Bible warns us about that too. But even that will not stop me. You know what? That's what they're going to have to do. And we need more people with this type of an attitude to push back, to say, no, we are going to proclaim the word of God. We're not going to allow you to censor us. You're not going to silence us. You're not going to silence the word of God. It's going to be preached whether you like it or not, Snowflake. That's right. 